what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to read a question from a viewer his name is justin so here's his question justin is 16 years old from florida he wants to start a pressure washing business and he wants to know what used truck should he get so justin um here is a couple trucks that i would get if i were you one um chevy avalanche of course that's not because i have one it's because i well because i have one um i know how they run i know how good they are so i know how much i know how they last um second one a ford f250 ford the fords the f150 250 350 those are good vehicles i think they they're good um obviously i think the chevy's a little bit better that's in my opinion but uh fords are really good as well truck wise the next one honda ridgelines they're also good basically a pilot but they're good but let me give you a reason why um the pilot and the the ford they're like basic kind of trucks i mean the pilot opens its mid the, its tailgates two different ways and has some storage underneath uh that's a plus but in the avalanche you have a bunch of storage so you have the bed you have the mid gate that drops down you can get inside you also have the two saddlebags on the side for storage as well so you can put all your um soaps you can put any little um equipment pieces that need to, to attach onto the pressure washer whatever attachments and stuff nozzles all those stuff can go inside the side compartment so you don't lose them uh the pressure washer itself can go in the back of the bed and you can cover the bed with the covers uh they also break down the mid gate you know, you can drop the mid gate down to store your tank if you want to or pull a trailer holding your tank. Um, there is a guy I know who actually does uh, pressure washing. I think he told me his... Oh, and the Tundra. Tundra is a good vehicle as well. Um, he actually uses a Tundra for his and he pulls like a 40... Like a 4,000 pound um, water tank with the Tundra. And it's pretty impressive that that truck pulls the trailer, that tank full of water, the, all, of, all of his equipment and everything. So um, Tundra is definitely something to look into as well. But the Chevy Avalanche can definitely pull that. I'm sure of it. Um, depending on how messed... If the frame is messed up and stuff like that, it ain't pulling nothing. But if it's a good frame, it's strong, the motor's good, transmission's good, your everything works, it's going to pull it. Um, you also have the tow mode option, which is cool. Um, so I definitely get the Avalanche or the Tundra or the Ford or the Ridgeline. But if you really want my specific, specific, specific detailed answer, I choose between the Tundra and the Avalanche. Avalanche being you got so much storage space all over to do things, um, to put your equipment and stuff in with the saddlebags and whatnot. Tundra because of the, it's reliable. Well, Avalanche is reliable as well too. But the Tundra, it's Toyota. You know they're reliable. Um, they're strong as well. It, same category as the Avalanche, except it doesn't have as much storage space. It just has its bed. Uh, but everything else can go into the trailer. So you didn't tell me if you're planning on pulling a trailer with this. If it's just the tank, uh, the pressure washer, and the attachments and stuff like that, I definitely say get the Avalanche because everything will fit onto that truck. So um, let me know what you choose in the comment section below. Guys, if you have any um, advice to give this guy, definitely leave it in the comment section below. We would definitely appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give it a quick like. Don't worry, GeoTracker episode will be coming out sometime this week, I think, because I, I have some still filming, got some more clips today. So we're going to put it into one gnarly episode. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all for the next one. Whoop, did it the wrong way. Peace.